Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a polynomial system, a very nice system, actually. We have x plus y multiplied by x squared minus y squared equals 9, and x minus y multiplied by x squared plus y squared is equal to 5. So the plus with the minus, minus with the plus, the linear with the quadratic, so on and so forth. So there is some kind of pattern here, isn't there? Anyways, it doesn't matter. So I think I'll be presenting one method, even though we can talk about an alternative method, and I'm sure you're going to let me know if you find something that I wasn't able to find. Okay, great. So what can I do with this equation? I can start by factoring x squared minus y squared, because remember we talked about this. This is called difference of two squares and very important. So let's go ahead and do it. x plus y times x plus y again times x minus y. That's how you factor x squared minus y squared. Great, so, but how does this help? Well, now you can write it as x plus y squared times x minus y, and that is equal to 9. Now, notice that in the second equation, you have x minus y, and we have in the first equation x minus y. We didn't see it. If we didn't factor it, we wouldn't see it. So let's go ahead and divide these equations side by side. I'm thinking... Could we multiply them? Probably. We're, we're going to take a look at it later if you have some time left. Okay, no, so let's go ahead and do this. Malt, malt, divide the top equation by the bottom one, the second one. And that's going to give you 9 over 5 because this is 9 and this is 5. Right? Easy. 9 divided by 5. Great, so now we can get rid of x minus y. That was the goal. And then we're going to end up with something good because the top and the bottom are both quadratic now. So I can kind of mix it up. Let's see what we get from here. 5 times x plus y squared equals 9 times x squared plus y squared. Let's go ahead and expand. This becomes 5 times x squared plus y squared plus 2xy. That's what I usually, how I usually write it. And then we could actually distribute here, but let's do it at the same time. So 5x squared plus 5y squared plus 10xy. And then equals 9x squared plus 9y squared. Now it makes sense if you put everything on the same side and combine like terms. So for example, we can go ahead and subtract these two and we can subtract these two. And let's do it on the right-hand side, because not because it's the right side, but it, because that's going to make the x squared positive. So if you subtract 5x squared, you're going to get 4x squared. And then I'd like to subtract this in the middle. And then 5y squared, subtract from 9y squared, you're going to get 4y squared. So we kind of have like 4, negative 10, and 4, but this is equal to 0. That's what's nice about it. Can we solve this equation? Two variables, a single equation, it's quadratic. Let's simplify it first. Divide by 2, right? Great. Now, if you do the following, you can basically divide both sides by something like y squared. Let's do it. Divide everything by y squared. That's going to be fun. And also, it's going to give you something nice. Obviously, x squared over y squared can be written as x over y squared. And here, y squared, one of the y's will cancel out. And that's going to give us 5 times x over y. Let's put that in parentheses again. And guess what? This is quadratic in x over y. So let's go ahead and use substitution. How about calling x over y? Hmm. What should we call it? How about u? Okay. So x over y equals u. And this equation becomes 2u squared minus happy birthday 2u squared, if it's your birthday, plus equals 0. And this equation can be solved easily. The discriminant is a perfect square, right? You can do it. So I can solve it using the quadratic formula. Let's solve it. u equals negative b plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 25, minus 4ac, which is 16. And 25 minus 16 is 9. And the square root of 9 is 3. Okay, I had to think about it for a second. 5 plus minus 3 over 4. And from here we get 2u values. Okay? One of them is going to be u sub 1 is going to be 5 plus 3 over 4. 
which is 2. And u sub 2 is going to be 5 minus 3 over 4, and that's 1 half. Okay, great. So those are the answers, right, the u values. And what are we going to do with these values, right? Well, we're just going to substitute them. What is u? u is x over y. So we do know that x over y is equal to 2. That means x is 2y. Now, if you look at one of these equations, doesn't matter which one, let's take the first one, should we? x plus y times x squared minus y squared is 9. Now, I'm going to replace x with 2y. So this is going to be 2y, and this is going to be 2y squared. So that's going to give me 3y. 4y squared minus y squared is going to be 3y squared equals 9. And it's going to give me 9y cubed equals 9, and y cubed equals 1 and y equals 1. Of course, if we're dealing with real solutions, y is going to be 1. Since y is 1, x is 2y, it's just doubled, x is equal to 2. So we got 2 comma 1 from here. Make sense? Awesome. Let's go ahead and take a look at the other u value. One of them was 2, the other one is 1 half. So x over y equals 1 half gives us y is 2x. You can also write it as x is half of y, but I like this better. I don't want to deal with fractions, right? We're done with fractions, okay, hopefully. y equals 2x. Again, let's use one of these equations. Doesn't matter which one. Let's use the second one for fun. So the second equation was x minus y times x squared plus y squared equals 5. And now replace y with 2x. That's going to give you x minus 2x. And then x squared plus 4x squared equals 5. This is negative x, that's 5x squared, negative 5x cubed is 5, x cubed is negative 1, and x is negative 1. Again, if x is real, it's going to be the cube root of negative 1, which is negative 1. But y is 2x, so y is going to be negative 2. And that gives us negative 1, comma, negative 2 as an ordered pair. So our solution set is basically made up of negative 1, comma, negative 2, and... 2 comma 1. There are two sets of solutions and you can definitely test it out, okay? Oh, the graph is coming up. Okay, great. So instead of maybe uh, talking about a second method, uh, we can quickly take a look at the graph. But before that, before we took a, take a look at the graph, let's just think about quickly, like, is this going to help us if we multiply these together? Probably. If I multiply all these together, actually, I'm getting difference of two squares twice. So it's like these two is going to give me x squared minus y squared. And then I have another one of these. I don't know if I want to square it or just multiply these two things and write it as x to the fourth. I probably want to keep it like this. And then this is going to give me 45. But how do you proceed with this? I don't know. Maybe it's going to work. Maybe it's not going to work. Just let me know what you think. And now we're going to look at the graph. So I graph these two relations for you and they are pretty interesting. So they are very curvy and they do intersect at two points, which shouldn't be a surprise, right? Yay! And this brings us to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.